Part 15. A theory of relativity reveals that mass can be converted into energy. The energy E so obtained is proportional to certain powers of M and the certain power of the speed of light C. Guess a relationship among the quantities used in the method using the method of dimension. We are going to derive Einstein's theory of relativity using dimensional analysis. You don't need to be a visionary. Just use the dimensional analysis. So let's say this energy E is equal to mass to the power of A and velocity C to the power of B. This is how the relationship between <coughs> energy, mass and well, the speed of the light is, uh, let us, is governed. Now we need to do the dimensional analysis of this. So we write dimensions of E is equal to dimensions of m to the power A, c to the power B. Now energy is nothing but work done. And work done is force into distance. <coughs> and force is nothing but mass into acceleration. So m l t to the power minus 2. And d has the dimensions of L. And that the dimension of this thing is equal to dimension of mass m. m to the power a. And c is nothing but velocity. Velocity is l t to the power minus 1 whole to the power of b. We need to equate the dimensions of m l and t. So m to the power is 1 here. So 1 is equal to m to the power a here. So this is equal to 1. Now l has a dimension square hell as a dimensions of 2 so the 2 is equal to from here the l is going to be l to the power b l to the power is b so 2 is equal to b and now finally for t to the power we have we we find found the answer and the problem is finished but let's verify it also with t, t the powers of t so t has a power of minus 2 here and t has a power of minus b here and this also gives b is equal to 2 it confirms that the b equal to t here was uh, correct now substitute the values of a and b here so you, in this equation we get e is equal to m to the power a c to the power c or sc square and that is the einstein's famous e equal to mc square